Okay, so I always hear this of my friends that are 40 plus. They all say, yeah. just wait till you get to the change. Yeah. And I'm thinking, what is this change? Mm. They're talking about menopause, but they yeah. say like women, I guess about 50 is when you get into menopause, correct? About there? Uh, you can yeah, but you start perimenopause in your 40s actually. Okay, well that's yes. what they're talking about. So they mm -hmm. say, when you get to that point, it doesn't matter. You could have eaten the same way your entire life and been the same way your entire life. You wake up one morning and suddenly you go, I'm 10 pounds heavier, what happened? And they can't get rid of it. Is there a way to get rid of that? Because I Horm know it's a lot of hormonal things. Going yeah. On. Hormonal fluctuations, of course, and the hormones are really, the hormones are your regulatory system for your entire body, and they really can impact your, or impede your, your weight loss. So the first thing I want you to do is to eat a, a, a protein-rich breakfast with some fiber. So, and I want you to eat within the first hour of awakening. The reason is because you start your metabolism, you get it revved up first thing in the morning, as soon as you get out of bed. So first, eat within the first hour of awakening. The other thing is eat a, eat a protein-rich breakfast. So it could be an Thanks. omelet with vegetables. Yeah, yeah, I do like a, a breakfast bowl with beans and, and eggs and spinach and other vegetables. So that, I want you to have that. The other thing is I want you to um, stop eating no later than three hours before bedtime. Mm. And the reason it's That's because, a tough one. That is a tough mm. one. for you especially, because yes. you, you have a whole different schedule. Mm. And many people do, mm -hmm. I get that. But tr try to do it three hours, but no later than three hours before bedtime. Because your metabolism slows down? Yes, yes. Okay. And, and it will impede your weight loss. 